Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the error code message 0x8007080. The file cannot be accessed by the system. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the start menu. Type in disk cleanup. Best result should come back with disk cleanup. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to check the files over here on the left side. You do not have to select windows.old folder if you see one in here. And then once you've made your selection, you're going to go ahead and select OK. It's going to ask you sure you want to permanently delete these files. Select Delete Files. And once that is done, you're going to go ahead and open up the Start menu. Type in CMD. Best result should come back with Command Prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a User Account Control Prompt, go ahead and select Yes. Now I'm going to have two DASM commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy each one one at a time. And just copy the first one. We're going to run it. So copy it to your clipboard and then go up to the top part of the Command Prompt window here. Right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. This will take a couple moments to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that one is done, we're going to go run the second command here. So just copy that again from the description of my video. Top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. This will take another couple minutes to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, close out of here and restart your computer. Save and close out of any open programs and applications before you do that, and go ahead and restart. Okay, so once your computer has restarted, hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.